Um, yeah, free energy sources would be solar and wind. Well, wind is also solar energy. Um, but um, for solar energy, uh, there is a lot of development done, and especially thermal uh, solar energy for producing hot water is very efficient, uh, very ecological, and uh, has a lot of upsides. Um, and uh, then there is the photovoltaics um, that for a climate with uh, very long winters and uh, well peak energy demand in winter time may not be all that ideal. It's more a uh, technology for the solar rich areas of the world and uh, wind is something what is uh, partly uh, overdone so uh, it's a development where at least in Europe we have a lot of installations of wind farms and many of them are huge and many of them are too close to where people live so this movement I, I, I still like wind power but it's it's getting too close to people it's getting um, areas that are sort of destroyed in their appearance, in their, uh, well, how, how you would live uh, through too many uh, installations. And uh, we, we see that there are uh, also health aspects there. There is the infra sound that is produced by them and they can have influence several kilometers away making people ill and uh, that's also something that has to be faced even though we <coughs> often do like wind power we should install them in a, in a reasonable way and uh, also look at the downsides there is now the wind energy uh, creation by the airborne wind energy I don't know if you've heard about that with, with like flying objects uh, that are circling around and creating energy by, by that that may be a better way because it's not uh, well near to the air earth surface where the wind speed is very low so that's a development what is uh, upcoming I think the, the key word would be airborne wind energy or something like that <coughs> 